Hello everybody and welcome back to our Tips and Tricks series of Dot 2 video clips. This is Michael Quincy Stratman from Tech Support here at MA Lighting International. We are in our series about commands in queues and as promised in the last clip, uh, we talked today about putting several commands into one queue. Why should I put several commands into one? Then I have only one queue that does several things. Some of you want to have editable macros. They want to write their own macros. We don't allow that in dot two at the moment. Or we don't want to allow it because it should be an easy console that simply does the job. For the ones of you who want to put or want to use commands and queues as macros, or kind of macro, you can do so. So how to put several commands into one queue? Uh, like I said, why ever you want to do this. One example could be you have your main queue list here and the go and the go and the go, and you want to put other executors or other queue lists onto here. You could do this by command. So I would, I have my main queue list here, I want to move this away and move this one onto here in with commands in one queue. So I have my queue list, looks like this. And let's say in the last queue, I want to change the complete queue list on my main executor. So how to do this? I write in here, I want to move this one away, let's say to here, and put this one onto here. So the command would be, Move executor exec. Which one is this? Yes, it's 0.1.1. Move executor 0.1.1, which is this one. At exec page 2.2. At exec 2.2. Point two. This is the first command, and the second one I can put in by using the semicolon. Now you are able to put another command in, and I want to move this executor onto here. So move exec two point one, which is this one, page two, the first one. At exec 0.1.1. So I have two commands divided by a semicolon. Let's have a look if this works. So I'm in Q1. Next one, next one, next one. Now this one should be moved to here and this one should be moved to there. And go. And you can see they have changed places. Now I could go on with this one. That's the main thing. I just want to remember you how what commands can you use there. In general, that's why we have the help. Please inside our console. Escape and help, please. And in commands you find all the commands you can put into your queues to do something with it. So once again, to put two queues into one queue list, use the semicolon to divide them. Like this, you can put more than one. This was just one example. It's not everybody's business, but you will find ways. You know where the commands are. And this is the way how to do it. That's it for today. I wish you all a nice weekend and we hear us next week with new topics for commands and cues. Have a nice weekend. Bye.